In our last episode, we saw how we can do queries, simple queries, and now we're going to be learning how we can do streams. So how can we create streams in KSQLDB, how we can manipulate these streams, and how we can create new tables or streams derived from the existing ones, and how we can put this data back into Kafka, creating new topics. If you are enjoying this series, please, Consider subscribing to the channel and like the video, leave me a comment. Everything helps for me to create more content and hopefully we can grow this channel. We can uh, learn together and really enjoy doing this. If we grow this channel, I will have more time to do this. So uh, always uh, thank you all of you who subscribe, who comment. I read the comments and they're very encouraging. So uh, thank you, and let's dig in now into the code and keep working on how we can create streams. As in Kafka streams, we not only have tables, we also have streams. So we can create streams on top of existing topics, or we can even create new streams on, uh, on topics that don't exist, and KSQLDB will create those topics. So I'm going to create a new stream and this stream is going to represent events that happen on a football match. So the table is going to have this structure here. It's going to be, it's not, a, it's not a table, sorry, it's a stream and it's going to be called match events. And it has an ID and uh, streams don't have a primary key. They have just a key. Uh, because they are not updated. We don't update data on a stream based on the ID as we do with tables. In a stream, every uh, every row is a, every record is a row. So we don't have updates. That's why we just call it key. And then we have the event type, which is going to be either goal or assist. It is going to have a player ID, which will be something from this table. And it's going to have whether it is a, a, an event to, that favors the home or the away team. And then we are going to create a topic match event and the value format will be in JSON and it will have only one partition. So let's go on and create this stream and the stream is created. So if I do show streams, we see we have the match event stream and it has one topic and the format of the values in JSON. So, so great. So we can do also select on a stream. Uh, right. We don't have any data on the stream, so that's why we don't get any results. But we can insert data, not just through the topic, but with KSQLDB, we can insert data into the topic with the um, insert uh, statement, just like we do with SQL. So we're going to insert into match event, and the value is going to be the player ID 1. It's going to be a goal. Uh, sorry, this is match ID 1. It's going to be a goal then it's going to be a uh, player one and for the home team so let's go ahead put this here so now if we if we select the events we should be able to see here we are we have one uh, stream one stream event here and it's a goal for player one for uh, the home team So now we've done all that. Uh, let's add more data. We're going to add an assist. And now we can do also filters on the streams. So we can select from the stream uh, where the event type is assist, for example. So we should only see the assists and not the other events, the goals. You see, we only have assist. 
if I remove this condition, if I remove this here, we'll see the goals and the assists, just as we expected. We can also do aggregations. So what are aggregations are basic aggregations are basically uh, transforming multiple records into a single record. So for example, we could uh, count all the goals for the home team in a match, right? Let's say uh, the home team did three goals or two goals, I don't know, whatever. So if they did two goals, uh, we would have two records, right? Two events, one for the first goal and one for the second goal. So how do we uh, aggregate those things? We aggregate it using aggregate functions and the group by clause, just like we do in regular SQL. So in this case, we want to know how many goals did the home team make. Uh, so we are going to select the ID of the match because we want to talk, we want to know for it for a particular match. And then um, we are going to select the count of IDs of the events, right? And we are going to count how many events we have. So we're going to count them and it's going to be the home goals. We're going to call this column home goals. This is a new projection that we're creating. We're selecting from match event where is home because we only want the home goals and not the away goals. And the event type has to be goal. It, it can't be an assist. And we're grouping by the match ID, right? This makes sense. So let's run this query. And here we see that the match currently has only one goal because we have only one event for goals. So let's make this more interesting and let's add a few more goals. Uh, one is going to be for the home team and one for the away team. So it's going to be 2-1. The score is going to be 2-1. So let's insert this. And now if we do a new query, we use the same query that we did before where we count, we will see that there are two goals for the home uh, team. And uh, we can revert the condition. We can put not home to see how many goals the away team has. And we call the projection away teams, away, away goals. And here we are. We have one uh, for the match one, we have one goal. So away team has only one goal. So as you can see, it's extremely easy to manipulate data with this uh, query language. Uh, so, but, but for now we went just uh, reading the data and printing it in the output. And we want to do more than that. We want to be able to transform the data and put it into a topic that then can be picked up by an application. But still, we only have been uh, manipulating the data and showing it on the standard output. How do we write the data back into Kafka so that we can uh, use that data in different applications? This is what we're going to do. So before, we're going to be adding a few more events so that it's uh, a bit more interesting. So you see, we'll, we'll put uh, data for a second match, All right? And now I'm going to create uh, a query that is going to be really interesting because it's going to tell us uh, the goals for the home team and the away team. So basically it's going to show us the score for the match. So we, how do we do this? We have to have different projections. So we're going to select the match ID from the match events table. And then we're going to create a projection of the home goals. 
And to do that, we're going to say, uh, we, we're going to use a case statement and we're going to say, if it is home, then, and it is a goal, then one, then return one. Otherwise return zero. And we are going to sum all the events. You see, so if it is not a goal, then it's zero. And if it's not home, it's going to be zero. So we're going to only be adding the home goals. So we're counting home goals. And the same we're going to do for the away goals. So we're going to say case when not home and the event type is goal, then one, else zero. And we're going to call this projection away goals. And finally, well, uh, we group by the match ID. So let's let's run this query. What we're expecting is going to see two match results, one for the match one and one for the match two. So here we are. Now we have a very nice table that we were able to create thanks to our uh, manipulation in SQL. So now how do we uh, operate with this data? How do we write this data into Kafka? What we need to do is we have to create a sync table. A sync table, it's basically a table that will write the result of a query into Kafka. So these collections, it could be either a table or it can be a stream as well. So it doesn't have to be a table, but in this case, we're going to use a table. Uh, and we're using a table because it's a group by, because we are aggregating. So we have to use a table in those cases. So let's, let's create a table using the query that we just wrote here. So this is how we create a new a sync table. We're basically saying create table as we always do. And we use the properties and we create a topic where we're going to be putting the data. And we're going to use the value format is going to be JSON. And then we use the keyword as. And here we put the query that we want to uh, use as a source for this table. So this query here is the same query that we saw here. We only, uh, we don't need to put the emit changes because it is implied that these changes are going to be emitted into the topic match results. So we're going to create this table and then we'll see what happens. So let's copy this. Okay, it says that it created a query. So now we should be able to query that table directly. We don't really need to do all that manipulation with the sum and all that. It's already done for us because that query is working uh, in the background. So as you can see, we have the same result. But now what's interesting is we're going to be uh, looking for this data in Kafka. So we're going to open a new terminal here. And in this new terminal, I'm going to be reading from the topic. So basically, I'm going to run a Kafka console consumer as we did in our in a lot of different tutorials for Kafka streams and all. So you should know how this uh, is used, but basically we're going to create a Kafka console consumer and we are going to be reading from the topic match results. So here we are. I'm going to put this here and run. Okay, so here's what we get. Home goals is two, away goals is one, home goals is one, away goals is one. Uh, we're missing the match ID. And that's because I didn't add the parameter to have the key printed. So I'm going to add now the parameter 
we have the key printed. In here I have the command. It's the same command, but I added these properties. Uh, print key true and then key separator. So we're going to be able to see the key. And here we are. So for the match one, we have this. For the match two, we have this, which is the same that we have here. So this is a great thing about this. And now if I add more data into the the stream, the original stream, the match event stream, everything is going to be like a ripple effect. And the data is going to change in here and it's going to change here as well. In here, we will have a new event. Let's say I add one more goal here. If I add one more goal, then I'm going to have a new event here for match one and going to say home goals three. Let's say it's a home goal team. Okay. Right. So really, really uh, interesting stuff that we're doing. All right. So we have created our own stream and we created the right tables, very complex queries, and we put this data back into Kafka. So overall, this has been a great episode. And the next episode, we're going to be learning about joins, how we can join tables and streams and how we can create aggregations and put this data uh, back into Kafka as well. This is going to be very interesting. There are some rules regarding joins. So thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this, please subscribe to the channel and, and leave a like and leave a comment. Thank you. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye.